I got an ASC test question for you. Technician A says the best way to evaluate a ride control component is to put your knee on the bumper and push up and down. Technician B says the best way to do it is to visually inspect the units and go for a test drive. Who's right? We're going to find out next in the garage. This video is sponsored by Nissan, innovation that excites. Visit partsadvantage.nissanusa.com for more information. In the garage today, we have a 2017 Nissan Maxima with about 700 miles. Next to it, we have a 2011 with 100,000 miles on it. So, how do you evaluate the ride control performance on these vehicles? The bumper test really hasn't been valid for about 25 years. Yes, it will spot catastrophically failed units, but it's not able to really spot problems with the ride control, a unit that may be borderline, or losing fluid. Also, a lot of modern units have valving inside that's able to change for high frequency and low frequency movements, making the knee test invalid. Also, there's no such thing as a calibrated knee. Everybody weighs different, everybody puts a different amount of force on their knee to do that test, so it's not valid. Technician B, his idea, visually inspect the units and go for test drive. That's the best way to do it. Visually inspecting the units can spot problems with the springs, damage to the shaft, and leaking oil on the unit. The test drive, well, that will help evaluate the condition of the ride control components over different surfaces and different turning conditions. So, technician B, he's right. Visual inspection and going for the test drive is the best way to do it. Thank you very much.